subqueries, also known as nested queries, are the queries that we usually write inside another query to get some data that is initial to the main query. This gives us ability to create more complex and sophisticated commands and calculate a result based on a result from another command. In this video, we'll be talking about subqueries and how we can benefit from them. Now, let's take a look at a simple example of the syntax. Here, we have selected from table 1 as the main query, and inside the parenthesis, we have nested another select command that is selecting from table 2. The select command on table 2 is called subquery or nested query. It calculates some data and gives it to the main query that is selecting from table 1. So the main query has some data to calculate based on it. Now let's go to the terminal and see how it works on real life examples. Here inside our MySQL Tutorials database, we have two tables, products and sales. And some of the products in this table have some records inside the sales table with some revenues, sales dates, and other data. Now let's see how we can create a nested query that calculates some data from the sales table and gives it to the main query so it can select some products from the main table, from the products table. If I type this command, we have selected from products based on the IDs. If the ID is inside the sales table and the product ID has total revenue more than 10,000. So the nested query will be this one that comes inside the parenthesis. The parenthesis is the key in nested query. So when a product has sold more than 10,000, it will be returned as the ID of the product to the main query and the product ID will be shown. I press enter and we will see only one record that is the product C with the ID 3 that has revenue more than 10,000. This is a very simple example about a nested query. Another example of using subqueries is something like this. We have the main query here that is selecting the name field. And since we are interested in the max revenue and the max revenue is from another table, we create a subquery inside the main one that selects m the maximum revenue from the sales table as a subquery. And then the rest of the main query that is selecting from the product. So we have selected from two tables here. One, the main query is selecting from products and second, the subquery is selecting from the sales. I press enter and I have two fields here. The name that is selected by the main query and max revenue resulted by the calculation of the subquery. Another example from this type is something like this. We have the main query here, again, is selecting the name field from the products ID. And also this main query is creating a link and alias to the products table by the letter P. And we are using this link inside our subquery here. And this is our subquery that is counting the number of sales for each product where the product ID on the sales table is equal to the ID field of the products table, if, if that makes sense. So I press enter and here I have two columns, name and total sales. Name is selected from the products table and lists all the products created in our products table and in front of them based on the count class of the nested query we have total sales for each of them. As you see we have some records here that 
have not made any sales if we want to retrieve only the products that have some sales on the sales table we can use the exist keyword like this again the main query here is selecting the name field and linking the letter p to the products table and this time only the existing records that have some sales from the sales table will be retrieved when i press enter i just get the products a to c that have some sales on the sales table and the last example I want to give you is this one. We are selecting products ID from the sales table. This time the products table is not involved. We are just working on the sales table. We are selecting products ID and also we want to calculate the total revenue for each product because some of the products have more than one sales and we want the sum, the all revenue added to each other for each product ID and at the end we are grouping the the result based on the product ID. You're of course familiar with the group by if you've been watching our previous videos of this playlist. So uh, this sub query is uh, adding all the revenues for each product and grouping the result by the product ID. I press enter and here I have all products sorted based on their product ID and in front of them we have the total revenue for each of those products. Of course, there are much more use cases and we can go on and give you much more examples about solve queries, but I just wanted you to have a uh, overall understanding over the concept of using sub queries and i gave you some simple examples so you're more familiar with the syntax i invite you to have a little bit practice and research on this and try to create some more sophisticated sub query commands so you're more familiar with this concept in the next video i'll be talking to you about mysql triggers that is a very handy skill to have so practice on this one a little bit and i'll meet you there soon